Hello guys, what's up? It's Matt here, I hope you all are doing good. And in this uh, short video, I will be dealing with a slightly different topic. Well, first of all, because uh, I pretty much exhausted all the possible combination of exercises and training sessions I could do with a pair of dumbbells at home. And secondly, because as I said already, uh, this channel will be dealing with a broader range of topics related to fitness and lifestyle as well. And with that out of the way, um, I would like to move on the main topic of this uh, video, which is my personal training split. So, however, I have a short parenthesis before I have some more weight coming in. And uh, if you are happy, uh, guys, for me to show you some uh, more training sessions um, with heavier weights, uh, I don't know, chest, uh, back, uh, uh, legs, uh, you name it, just let me know in the comments below. I will be happy to do so for you guys. And with that said, <coughs> I will now move on to um, my personal training split. So, supposedly to most of the people, I like to organize my training split over a month time uh, rather than a weekly schedule for two main reasons. So, first of all, I don't know you guys, but uh, unless you are not a professional athlete or you don't make a living out of it, uh, it's very hard to find the time to train uh, every single day, at least for me personally, even for a short period of time. So what I like to do is to have longer training sessions, uh, say one hour and a half to two hours, for three to four times a week. And the second reason is that uh, this particular training style allows me to have uh, <coughs> longer resting periods, uh, not only between trainings, but also within a training session. And I found out that this is the most suitable way of training for powerlifting. Well, now I will move on talking a bit more uh, how I organize my month and my weeks and uh, why I do so, okay? So essentially, what I do is that I have uh, the first half of the month, so the first two weeks, uh, more uh, heavily focused on the lower part of the body, so legs and related exercises, and the second half of the month more uh, related to, um, I will be doing more uh, exercises related to the upper part of the body, so arms uh, and uh, related exercises. So what I specifically do uh, in every single week uh, of the month is to keep a fixed day for back and core, which is Tuesday, and then switch my Thursdays between uh, chest and shoulders. And uh, on Sundays, on, during my Sundays, I will be doing either legs or arms. And if uh, I'm able in a particular week, because uh, I have a lot of time available, say, to throw in one more session, I will just simply train a body part that I haven't done in the week. So say I've done um, back, chest, and arms, I will be doing legs, or I will be doing shoulder. So you got the point. So in that, and how this works in the bigger picture. So of course, uh, training uh, less, uh, for a longer period of time, over a week, does not allow you to uh, cover all the body parts in that particular week. But doing so, I'm able, in a month's time, again, to cover each body part at least twice. So what I like to do, again, in the first half of the month, as I said, I will focus more on legs. So during my back days, I will be doing deadlifts and finish off with some uh, core, mainly planks, and during my uh, Thursdays, I will uh, be doing uh, chest, and on Sundays, I will uh, be training legs. Whereas in the second half of the month, I will typically do uh, for back, uh, which I keep uh, uh, constant all over the month, I will be doing some variations of back exercises, so bend over rows, uh, cable machines, and any other type of exercise, lap pull down, that will, have the, will help the overall back development. And on uh, Thursdays, I will do shoulders and I will finish off on Sundays with 
arms. So now that you have a general overview of my monthly schedule, and please, if you have any questions, just drop, drop them in the comment below. So I will carry on doing that over a year time. So <coughs> usually uh, from month to month, I'm able to increase the weight or at least to see some slight improvement that will bring me, of course, from year to year to lift more weight, which is what we want, right? Or what at least I want for my personal training style, because as I say, I train for powerlifting. And how this particular schedule, at least my monthly schedule, fits into the powerlifting training style. So, as I say briefly before, of course, for powerlifting, you will be dealing with, like, uh, compared to a bodybuilding uh, training session, you will be dealing with and uh, lifting uh, heavier weight for less reps, of course, but heavier weight. So 85 to 90% of your one rep max, probably each session, each day of the week for different body parts. So you not only need to rest more between trainings, but also within the same training, within sessions, you will have to take longer resting periods. And the training itself, of course, will expand, will be a longer training session. That's why, as I say, I think that this system of having longer training session is more beneficial for a powerlifting type of training. So I hope you guys uh, understand a bit more uh, uh, how I train and this uh, will make, uh, with this video actually at least will uh, uh, simplify, will uh, um, make clear the reason uh, why I train like that and also uh, will give you an idea of uh, my previous videos essentially and why I follow that particular pattern, of course, or I train those particular body parts in that particular schedule. And again, as I say, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment below. I will be happy to answer you, to explain you more into details, what I do, uh, how I do it, how many reps, how I warm up. I will be posting uh, uh, some uh, videos about my core training soon after this one and uh, if you also want to know uh, how I warm up uh, or how I use the, the rope for warming up just let me know again and please if you enjoy this type of content like share and subscribe this helps the channel a lot and uh, until the next one stay safe